Hi, my name is Autumn and I'm STEM Group 6 CSI team. And my name is Catalina and I'm also STEM 6 CSI team. Captain Thomas assembled a crew to set sail to go to an uninhabited island in Indonesia, off the coast of Indonesia to find historic treasure led, guided by um, an ancient map um, recently discovered. It was also typhoon season and they got hit by a typhoon and many crew members were left unconscious or injured, including the captain. Today, you will hear the, story, the whole story of who stole Captain Thomas's map and how we solved it. I'm Abigail Wade from STEM 6 medical team. Dr. Smart gave me information about people on the crew who were injured and taught me how to put a splint on a person's arm and leg. Fractures and dislocations are very common in the outdoors. You should always remember that splints are only temporary because they aren't actually a cast. A splint for your arm starts at your elbow and ends around the wrist area. Again, a splint doesn't actually fix the injury, it only keeps it from moving until further treatment. Now I, now I will show you how to put on an arm splint. Split, you should always make sure it's tight so it doesn't rip. Dr. Smart also taught me how to make a leg splint. A splint on your leg can help prevent movement from a fractured or sprained ankle or foot. Ankle sprains can be very painful, so putting a splint on is necessary, even if nothing looks badly hurt. Whenever you put on a leg splint, do so in a sitting position. Even though it's tempting to do it standing, it can harm the person even more. Also, you have to put this on the injured ankle because there's no way to move it to the other leg without taking it apart. ever walk on your splint. Instead, use crutches if available or have someone help you. Now I will show you how to put on a leg splint. Hello, I am Eleanor Kitchens from the Medical Examiner's A team. And today I will be showing you how Dr. Smart taught us to do the sling and body buddy taping. Buddy tape, the sling is where is where you wrap put the patient's arm in the piece of cloth 
<laughs> before putting it in a cross position around their neck and tying it on their opposite shoulder. Now I will demonstrate. Next, I will be showing you buddy taping. Buddy taping is when you put a stick underneath the two fingers. One, one finger will be a finger that is not injured or broken to support the one that is. After you have placed the stick, you wrap it, the stick and fingers in bandages. I will demonstrate now. from Group 6 Medicine. After the crew members were healed, Chief Stewart got her lung punctured. Dr. Smart helped me identify a collapsed lung known as a pneumothorax. A collapsed lung occurs when air leaks to the space between your lung and chest wall. A pneumothorax can be a complete lung collapse or only a portion of your lung will collapse. Now I'm demonstrate how a collapsed lung would look like. This is how a normal lung would look like, and this is collapsed. The muscular system consists of heart, which is a muscular pumping device used to let you live. Hello, I am Jonathan Williams, STEM 6 in Engineering. Um, after um, Captain Thomas woke up, um, he ordered a um, head count to see if everyone was there, um, but there were some missing. He, he ordered a search team of robots to go and find them. They didn't use humans because it was too dangerous. Dr. Smart helped us build and program the robots. I'm Loudon from STEM Group 6 on the engineering team. And at, we sent a search team to find the missing crew members to all areas ex accessible for, to humans, but we had to send robots because they can go on all terrarian, and we needed to find, the, so we pr built and programmed a robot so we can hopefully find the missing crew members, bring them back, and find more evidence to find the thief. I'm Jeremiah from STEM Group 6 Engineer Specialists. After realizing that Young and Neff were missing, Dr. Smart helped us build a robot by using the engineering design process, which is empathizing, designing, defining, ID, prototype, and testing. Then he helped us program the robot to bring Young and Neff back. After they returned, there was a flood, so I took measurements to determine the length, width, and height of the robot to create a trash bridge to get to the food supply on the inaccessible part of the island. This is the robot that we will use to find the crew members. I'm Oliver Henderson from Group 6 Engineering Robot Group. In conclusion, Dr. Smart taught us how to build and program working robots. I'm Grayson Harmon from STEM Group 6, part of the engineering group. 
Dr. Smart helped us build a bridge for the robot to get across the water because the island was flooded. The bridge had to be big enough for the robot to fit and drive through. So we had to measure the height, width, and length of the robot. It was a tough process, but we improvised and it worked out. My name is Cameron Wright from STEM Group 6, and I am part of the engineering team. Dr. Smart helped me build the a truss bridge to make sure the robot could get to the other side to save the crew. Hi, my name is Thomas Smith. I'm a part of the STEM Group 6 medical team, and today I'll be discussing about the heart. But before that, Dr. Smart had us to dissect a cow heart because, because somebody was having heart issues during our journey to Indonesia. When we did that, he told us about the orod aorta and the vena cava which help pump blood through our body and oxygen to our brain. He also told us how a heart attack actually happens. It's fat building up and once a blood clot come by it gets caught and stops the blood flow which can cause misbeating in the heart and pain, chest pains, sweating, nausea and ultimately death because you're not getting any more oxygen. Your heart stopped and you're not getting any more blood. Thank you. Hi, I'm Elijah Murray from the STEM 6 medical unit. And in our CSI investigation, first mate Sydney Young was walking with Neff the shipwright, and she gets bit by a Bermuda pit viper, which has hemitoxin, which can cause blood clots and your blood flow to slow down, which can cause your brain to stop and die. I'm Ella Gretchen Kirby, STEM Group 6 CSI team, and this is how Dr. Smart taught us about the blood drop experiment. We dropped fake blood from 12, 30, and 66 inches. We examined the splatters and figured out the higher the fall, the larger the splatter. This way, we could figure out who and where the blood fell from. Many of the crewmates got cuts and injuries. We got to compare our examples from the experiments to those found at the crime scene. Hi, my name is Kalina, and I'm in STEM Group 6 CSI. Captain Thomas woke up as he was informed that he was unconscious for eight hours. He was in a panic as he sat up because he saw that the map was missing. He also saw that there was a mystery powder on the floor. After many tests, we found that the mystery powder was cornstarch. With the help of Dr. Smart, we conducted tests and were able to, fi able to find out that the missing powder was cornstarch because it is neutral and safe to put on the skin and used for sunburns. I'm Ella Gretchen Kirby, STEM Group 6 CSI team. This is how Dr. Smart taught us about pH level. The captain noticed a piece of paper lying down for a paste-like ointment for soothing and healing skin. He thought it must be for the mystery powder. We figured out the mystery powder was cornstarch. He needed to figure out the pH balanced or neutral substance for the paste. Dr. Smart taught us how to figure out pH, so we decided the pH level for this substance is neutral. Hi, I'm Gretchen Stricker, a STEM Group 6 um, CSI team. Based on the last piece of evidence, we analyzed the fingerprints and determined Dr. Smart lured Neff into the crime. And mystery map was and the mystery map was found. Hi, my name is Joseph and I'm from STEM Group 6 Medical. Um Sydney Young gets bit on her left ankle. She, has mi she had mild dehydration, the bite was swollen and red, so we needed to find the right antivenom, so we mixed lemon juice and milk to make our cure. Hi, my name is Riley, and based on the evidence we have collected, we believe that Neff and uh, Dr. Smart are guilty of stealing the ancient map.